Okay, so this was really hard to get into a photo. So I'm starting off by giving you a little side view of all of these sketchbooks. They're all brand new and they're waiting for me to be used. And some of them I have more than one of the same thing. So I've only brought down one of those. This is from my um, collection of sketchbooks waiting to be used. Sketchbooks in the wing. Yes. So let's sort through these and I will show you what I've got and what I use them for. Okay. Hello again, and oh my gosh, I mean, I, I really, I can't fit all of these into the screenshot, but I have got so many sketchbooks waiting in the wings to be used. And um, yeah, let's start with some big ones and work our way through. Some of them I've got several of, but I've just bought down one. <laughs> because these have come from my, um, I suppose you might call it what I use as my dressing room. It was my son's bedroom until he moved out. And um, yeah, we might have to change the, the zoom on this, I think. So let's, um, let's deal with that while I carry on talking. So um, I keep all of the unused or ready to use uh, sketchbooks that I have. I keep them uh, very much. Let's try and zoom out a bit. Let's see if that's made any better. Oh, OK. Let's. That's, that's probably not too bad because I don't think that there's any that are any bigger than this one. I just need to straighten things up a little a bit like so okay that's better right so I didn't realize yet again I, I'm doing my what have I got trying to tidy everything up making a note of what I've got so that um, I'm not buying stuff unnecessarily so I have this sketchbook here. Um, this is recycled cotton rag paper. It's by Lavender Green Books. It's handmade in the Lake District and it's suitable for watercolour, gouache, acrylics and inks. This is very much like the... Um, What am I trying to think of? It is like that rag paper, basically. Um, and it is really perfect for um, watercolour in particular, but it will work with all the other um, ma uh, materials like the gouache, acrylics and inks. I just think that it's not wonderful for coloured pencils, that kind of thing. So... Um, that's um, this one here and I do have a smaller version um, that I don't think I've started using yet. There we go. I have a smaller version as well. So I have both of these. The print that um, it's all hand painted on, on the cover here. The print is called Summer Leaves and it's by Lisa Jones. Etsy is where these came from, if any of you um, are interested. And if you really like this kind of almost caddy paper, that's what I was trying to think of, I think. Almost caddy paper. So um, that is that one. What else have we got that's quite large here? Okay, oh, this one's, um, well, let's go here, actually. This is a Paul Rubens watercolour, 100% cotton, 300 GSM, 
uh, not not pressed um, um, but it's in a watercolor block this one so with these you have this little section here and you just need to get either your nail or um, a letter opener or something along those lines maybe a um, palette knife <laughs> and then once you've done your painting you can um, release it because it's glued on all four sides um, but it's very good for so I, I would have to say that this paper is probably good for just about everything um, I can't think of anything that it doesn't work with it's really good for when you're out and about because you don't need your clips to keep the paper in in place so as it doesn't blow all over the place um, so yeah something like this is really quite um, useful for when you are painting outside and when you're out and about on holiday etc so that is the Paul Rubens um, I think you can get I might have let me just check somewhere I think I've got a smaller version uh where are you here you are smaller version so this is i don't think it's quite a4 um and this is probably not quite a5 they're just under but this is um the one with the black cover um it's exactly the same thing um let's say what gsm it is i'm pretty sure it's all exactly uh the same thing yeah so um this is just the smaller version um both of those never used sitting there waiting in the background um for when i want to use them so let's pop those down there what else do we have that's large you've seen this one before this is just called um watercolor painting and ding dong chew i'm not sure really um but this i have um used a lot i've got um all oh, that one has got one one i didn't realize i'd use one page of it um i've probably got about three of these upstairs sitting there waiting to use i like the fact that it's a ring binder because that means you can turn it over and it's nice and flat um and i do like the paper it's cold pressed and it's definitely at least 300 gsm um and it works with just about every medium again so it's a really um, not too expensive um, but handy um, sketchbook to have um, on standby. It's a little bit big to take away or go on holiday or do on plein air work with but um, it's really nice for in the studio and it's roughly about 10 inches by 10 inches so um, you can uh, make it 10 inches by 10 inches using your masking tape and then it will fit a 10 by 10 uh, photo frame or picture frame uh, for when you're finished if you want to um, you know um, just cut it out basically which i have done before now so i have several of these and um the reason that i have several is because i really like this 10 by 10 square size uh, for working in the studio with so that's that one right what else do we have that's fairly large this is fairly large this is a four size and let me see came with something else that's some yappo paper Hang on, we'll leave that there this is called the frisk uh, lay flat sketch pad um, you've got 20 sheets of quality cartridge paper so uh, this one literally does I think I've got a small one of this as well 
where's the small one okay here's the small one so um you will see when i open it up they literally lay flat do i need my light on today folks let's have a look it might help so um these i think um are just about okay with some watercolor but uh they are superb with colored pencils ink tents watercolor pencils um it, it's kind of it's mixed media paper basically and it comes with the a4 and the a5 size and it's by frisk and it is actually called lay flat sketch pad um does it say here 20 sheets 300 gsm there you go um this one doesn't say on the back because i've opened it up now but um yeah you can see one big one small i think maybe we're getting a bit of a theme going on here so let's pop those down there um many of you will have seen the art by marlene um yeah art by marlene i showed this the other day um let me show you how it i have more than one of these upstairs waiting in the wings so this i can undo it oh hang on to that because it's got my info on it This opens up and it comes with this plastic zippered sleeve. That means that you can put pens, well, anything you want in there, really. Um, and this paper is mixed media paper. Um, but what I really like about this one is that it literally does lay flat because of the the way that it's put into these rings and you can easily take something out that you like that you've done to put it in a smaller frame so um yes this uh art studio light is the make and i believe i got these i've got these from amazon i've also got them from art from the heart and they're probably on rangers um website as well um yeah art by marlene so i'm pretty sure when i did a review on this i won't put it back in there um with some of my haikus in i gave a link to it i've got so many here that i'm not going to be able to put links to all of these so um, you might have to play it back and listen to, you know, my description um, so, so that you can find it somewhere. So that's the art journal, um, art by Marlene, and it's by Studio Light. There we go. What else do we have that's fairly large? Okay, we have this one. This is the Etcher. The perfect sketchbook. So this has got really quite thick. Is it? Oh, here we go. Maybe I kept it in here. Yeah, I did. This is the perfect sketchbook B5 signature series with the finest watercolor paper what does it say about the watercolor paper right its size is a b5 it's a hundred percent cotton cold pressed 300 gsm so when i feel this paper it and it's got those kind of deckled edges to it again it it's another one that reminds me slightly of the um, caddy paper, if you like. But I can see that this will be perfect for watercolours. For me, this type of paper is watercolour paper. 
um but yes that's one that is sitting there waiting to be used next next we have got so this is the Claire Fontaine Etival 300 GSM, 100% uh, cellulose, it says. Um, have got any more info on the other side? Nope. So, um, oh, you've got these postcards in the back of this one. I wondered what that one... So you've got 24 sheets in the sketchbook and then you've got 12 of these like postcards in the back <laughs> learn something new every day so this is a nice square shape yet again i probably won't use that page can you see how that doesn't really lay very flat but the rest seem to be pretty much okay and this paper yet again to me screams watercolour um you might be all right with like neo colors maybe on this one watercolor pencils possibly but i think anything that's got quite a bit of a grain in it is quite difficult when it comes to pencil work because the um the the what would you call it the ink the the coloured part <laughs> goes into the dips of the paper so um and, the, and then it uh, unless you like that look i suppose um but i think that it it's um it lends itself more to watercolor i've obviously painted the front of this ready to use and put some uh serm relief pebio serm relief on it but it's beautiful Claire Fontaine um, watercolour paper in here. So, uh, and it, it's a nice, I'm guessing, 8 by 8 inches square. That is that one. What shall we do next? Next. Next we have this, which is, it's in its case. I can get it out oh there we go so it comes in this case i'm trying to look to see where i got it from because i know that it is a massive one that opens out unfolds but can i see where i got it from There's no name on this at all anywhere Anywhere on the box? No. Well, that's not very helpful to any of you, is it? <laughs> but it just goes to show that something like this is available from somewhere. It's slightly textured paper. It's not that thick. Um so i don't know not 300 maybe maybe more maybe half of that or 190 something like that anyway um yes i wish i could tell you where i got that from because it fits into that and you can use both sides and it's a massive pull out one um there you go um let's move on if we don't know where it came from i'm not helping you very much what have we got next this one ro ro royel ro i'm probably murdering that um this has got a really soft velvety cover on it um Art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. Thomas Merton. 
my drawing journey by and it gives you a right so this is yeah this is probably going to be about 300 gsm did i is there anything in there no um these i know you can get from amazon ro it's like a little i e i l there we go um but yeah this is quite a it's not really an a5 it's kind of skinnier than an a5 but this is an a5 it's about it's about the same length but if you look it's not as not as wide so that is that one which i haven't started yet but feeling the paper i think that'll probably be it's not too textured um that might be all right for many different mediums what else do we have we have We have um, a Bockingford. No, that's shining on that one. Let's just turn that off for a minute. There we go. We have a Bockingford A5. This is what they call one of the fat pads. 25 sheets, 300 GSM, and it is cold-pressed not paper. So, um, yeah, that one is another A5 ring binder which means that i am going to be able to keep things flat um okay and most of these i've bought because i've used them before what else have we got this one just says sakura sketch note book to new adventures 80 sheets uh what is it just over eight by just under six inches 140 gsm acid free this obviously didn't cost me very much seven pounds 75 perfect for all of the secure products ink pencil oil pastel charcoal so there you go um this one is not really for watercolour so if you're looking at one for one that is mm, pretty much um good value by the looks of it so yeah royal talons oh okay royal talons but it's called the sakura sketch notebook so there we go and it even sort of micron brush jelly roll it's giving you some ideas here but it definitely says ink pencil oil pastel charcoal so yes if you are not wanting to use watercolor or a wet medium then this looks like it's probably um good value for money uh what is next okay let's go with this one now this one also i think i got from etsy this has got like that caddy paper in um and it's got cloth um on the cover it's been handmade oh it's our car creation oh wow our car creation do a lot of um handmade watercolors and art supplies i had no idea that i bought this that was so long ago it would have been when i bought my our car creation paints so this is definitely proper watercolor paper and it feels like it's 100 percent cotton it feels lovely so um yeah our car creations another place to look for perhaps some uh sketchbooks that are a little bit different and moving onwards and upwards what shall we do next well we have got the famous moleskine 
this is the watercolor notebook it's 200 gsm and i have shown you the one that i'm working in at the moment which is exactly the same so um we know that this works with just about any medium possible <laughs> it's really good um so yes um that's obviously why i bought it because i know that when i finished that one this will be lovely to use similar to that i've got some sea white of brighton is this sea white of brighton i don't know let me just check uh, what's this one yes let's pull out some sea white of brighton so um i've got my big ones that i use to do my color swatching in these are a5 but they're slightly different so this one is the plen air sketchbook in a5 size it's a not finish it's 300 GSM. Now, I know that this is beautiful with watercolour. Um, and I love the fact that you it, it lays flat when you have this kind of ring binding. Um, and I know that I like the big A4 version of these. So that's why I have this one. Um, it was like, let's try the little A5 size and see what that does. Not that I've got round to using it yet, but um, on the other hand, this one, which is also Sea White of Brighton, does not have the same ring binders. This one is bound like this. So, um, but even so, it's it's the right kind of size. And I would say it's 200 GSM the same. Um, not that it probably says it anywhere. Because I will have taken the wrapping off. But, um, yes, really nice. Um, cheaper than the Moleskine. If the Moleskine is a little bit too um, pricey, then moving to the sea white of brighton instead is a very good option i think that they are very comparable and then we have the dinky this little one which um all exactly the same yep that's same 200 gsm um but this is just a little probably five by five five by five a little one, wrong way around yeah these are kind of five by five inch type size so um yeah an empty one ready to use these small ones i use when i'm out and about so let's put you over there what else have we got next hanamule hanamule we've got quite a lot of hanamule let's bring you up Okay, these are all different types of Hanamule. So uh, let's start with this one. So this is landscape um, version. Right, that's going to be about 200 GSM. And um, I would have to say Sea White of Brighton, Hanamule, um, Molskeen. I would be happy with any of them. Um, and I think that they are very good at um, using all different types of medium as well. So that is landscape um, orientation. Whereas this one, oh, that reminds me, I will. This one is the watercolour book. And it's obviously, yeah, it's 200 GSM. So it's exactly the same, but this is portrait um and so yeah that what can i say same thing but portrait 
and then I have got a version of, well I know that I have got more of these grey toned ones so this is the Hanamule grey toned paper and I have one that I'm working in that I've shown you before uh, there we go. so I'm nearing the end of this one so this is the grey toned paper um, and this works really well as you can see I've used um, watercolours, I've used pens, I've used coloured pencils um, so it works with just about everything then just for a change I haven't used it yet but I got the um, I don't know, beige toned do they call this or tan I'm not sure um, but yeah five and a half by five and a half inches um, it's this got this kind of almost as if you've spilt tea on it and left it to dry <laughs> I suppose um, so two toned books and then I've got the um, one that is just the white paper as well so they are all sitting in the wings because um, I know that Hanamule much like Sea White of Brighton and Molskeen, um, they're going to be perfect for whatever I want to do in them. As well as that, I also have this Hanamule zigzag book. So um, this is one of those that folds out. And if you look at uh, which video is it? It's the one where I show you how I've used some of my paintings and put them into books. Um, towards the end, I show you quite a few, two or three of these that I've used. They fold out um, and they are just really lovely. Um, these are 300 GSM um, and you can use both sides. So... I obviously got this ready um, to use when I go to Tyrrell's Wood and then forgot and I've used all sorts of other things instead. So I'm going to go back to using this when I do my en plein airs in um, Tyrrell's Wood. So that's that one. Then I have a bunch of these <laughs> that I got from Team U. Uh, I would say that the paper is... Um, it's obviously not, uh, it, it, it's got quite a distinct pattern on it. So rather than random, I mean, it is watercolour paper. Um, I don't know that it's, I would say it's probably not 100% cotton um, for the price that it was anyways. Uh, but these are still pretty good for if you just want something small to take out with you. Um, on plein air um, I think this is slightly smaller than these ones yeah it's just just slightly smaller than the Hanamule's but it's still um, really useful it's um, if you're just wanting something small to sketch when you're outside the other Hanamule that I have is this little one, which is an A6 200 GSM. Um, that one obviously cost me £10.55. Isn't it dinky? Um, so, yeah, um, that's that's another lit. If I really want to try and be minimalistic when I go out and I just want a little A6, that's going to be perfect. Um, and I know because this is, you know, the watercolour paper, it's just going to work with everything um, because it's not too thick. Um, so it will work with pencils as well. OK, um, nearly, nearly at the end. <laughs> this is the handbook journal. I definitely got this from Amazon. Um, and I am using one of these. No, I didn't get this from Amazon. I got this from the Art Trading Company 
here in Norfolk in Bungie, or rather Suffolk, I think Bungie is in. Um, three and a half inches by 8.25 inches. And I showed you one of these that I'm using at the moment. Uh, it's the one that had the flowers and the Pebio Serm relief in. So um, if you look back on all of the sketchbooks that I'm using at the moment, you will see that I'm actually using one of these. And then we have this one, which is Fabriano. Um, and it came with the uh, eraser. We've got a pencil double um, size pencil sharpener. We've got a little ruler, we've got a little pencil, and then we've got one of these blue ones. Um, which I think is something to do with photocopying or something, I'm not sure. Um, but this is very much um, similar to the caddy paper again. Um, let me feel. Well, it, it differs actually because it's like with the caddy paper, some of them can feel a little bit thicker or thinner than others but this isn't 300 gsm this this is obviously smaller but it's got a lovely kind of corky um cover to it uh and can i remember where i got this from uh i'm not too sure um No, it's not coming to me where I got this from, but you could always, it might have been cult pens, might have been cult pens, um, but you know, if you key in Fabriano sketchbook, then you, or watercolour book, but I would say this is watercolour paper on this one. But looking at this set up here, that is obviously elastic and can be put on somewhere else. So there we go. Oh no, I've missed one. Here we go. <gasps> Last one. What is this? Oh, this is a ranger. And this has got cloth. It has got really thick watercolour paper. It's got Hessian and so um, it has this real mixture of pages in it and I bought this when I was really into doing those art journals but um, I'm sure I will still come up with a use for it I mean when I look at the where's the Hessian one gone I mean that you you could almost do cross stitch in that. <laughs> I'm just you know thinking there must be something that you could kind of use it for. And um, this is like almost like de well it is like denim if you look. So I don't know whether acrylic or would go over the top. Maybe you could gesso it something like that. I obviously have not come up with a use for it yet. Those of you that do a lot more craft than I do might be able to tell me how you use some of those pages. Um, but yes, that one is sat there in the wings um, with the rest. But what I also have is, now let me show you, where are we? There's one. There's one. There's one. So these are like little pencil cases um, that go over your sketchbook. So um, these were all from different places, but mainly from Amazon. So this one has got space for just um, 
three pens or pencils in. This one, which I've got on my little journal that I'm doing, has got, um, it opens out like a pencil case, but it's also got this slot here. So there's all sorts of versions of these. Then we've got this white one that's, oh, it's the same as the blue one. So let's not bother too much with that one. This one, which um, has got a little bit like a pencil case. And then it's got a slot here. Maybe you would put your fountain pen in there. So we've got that one. And then... I have also got this one, there's its elastic, and this one has got um, pens, pencils, etc. in. So you can get them in all different kind of sizes. Um, I think this one came free with something, but you can really only fit a couple of pens in that one, um, or a pen and a pencil like it shows you. Um, but I think that they are quite a good idea um, if you haven't ever come across that before. If you want something that's fairly slim, I think, um, you know, something like one of these would probably do the job. So all of my sketchbooks that are waiting in the wings. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 20, 21, 25, 27, 20, 28 checkbook, um, sketchbooks, everyone. My goodness. <laughs> well, maybe I'm sure there's someone out there that can beat that. Um, but that doesn't include all of my uh, watercolour um, sketch pads, um, you know, things like, uh, where are we? So things like this, you know, your actual sketch pads, um, watercolour paper that is, um, that I've bought that is loose or... Um, you know, bigger ones that are um, glued all the way round. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's still more. Mm. Right. Anyway, those are just what I call the smaller-ish <laughs> sketchbooks. If there's anything that you want to ask me um, or, um, I, you know, if you're really interested in any one of them and uh, you you want to see if I can get a bit more detail for you then just put some comments down below and I will try my best to answer uh, have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are uh, stay safe and stay healthy everyone so um, take care until next time